brother completely changed my life and my whole family's life. Um, turn it upside down, I suppose you'd say. Um, we were all felt like we were in like this sort of limbo. Nothing felt real for quite a while, like probably about two months and even the funeral and stuff, and none of us really remember. And um, it all felt like, like life was never going to change, like that it was just we we're going to be stuck in this limbo forever and um, that we kind of like would never feel happy again and and yeah um, for me it changed a lot because I had to kind of like well I didn't have to but I chose to take Eamon's place as the primary man of the house for my sister and my mum um, I moved back home after living out of home for four or five years and spent every weekend, every minute with my mum and my sister, just to be the support for that whole time. We were visited on the day that Eamon passed away by standby, um, which was good to know that there was people out there that we could talk to that would understand. I think a lot of people don't really realise that when they're immediately bereaved. We were lucky that the, the policeman actually told us about standby and they came straight out and, and gave us some support. Um, a lot of my support actually came from my, my friends and my family as well, a significant amount. Um, I was quite open with sharing my story and quite open to receive support. Um, so that made it very easy for my friends to actually support me, I suppose, and, and my family too. And, I was going through a lot of regret and a lot of um, negative emotions towards it all. I was obviously angry at the situation, angry at my brother, angry at myself mostly. And I think we were all going through that. Even just speaking about my story out loud actually made clarity in my own head of, of um, like that it wasn't my fault and that I wasn't really to blame. I would say to people who are struggling to to get the support that you just really need to sort of let yourself be happy again and let yourself try and be happy again. Let yourself heal because without support, I, I feel like you're not really going to be able to heal nearly as well if you're just stewing on things in your own head. Um, if you're feeling like your community that you're surrounded by is not the supportive community, maybe seek alternative support, whether it be from a counsellor or a psychologist or your family or your, your friends, but maybe even seek a new community to, to feel supported by. For me, it, it helped um, actually going to bereavement support groups a lot. Um, being around people with lived experience helped a lot. It helped me open up about my story and, and share a lot of things. Eamon's passing helped me realize that the things in my life that were, that were sort of, that I was doing that weren't very good. I was drinking too much and not really caring for myself and his passing helped me realize that, that I was doing those things and made me really care about my life and living it to the best that it can be. Um, I feel like that was kind of like his, his lesson to me was in his passing that was live your best life. Um, and in fact, after his passing, it's been a year now, I'm actually in the best place that I've ever been in my life um, because of my growth. I've um, really like connected with my positive positivity and, and really like trained that side of my brain rather than the negativity of begun focusing more on things that really matter. I've 
really been embracing life and doing things that that really make me feel good and really make me feel positive. I've been drinking less and going out more, making so many friends, making new friends every weekend, talking to people way more, getting over my social anxiety. Because it kind of made me realize that I was like, not really feeling depressed and not really feeling like low, but I wasn't feeling high ever. I was just sort of like stagnant for, for years of my life, for like two to three years of my life, I was just stagnant. And then when he passed away, I sort of analyzed like, why am I feeling like this? And I realized because I wasn't, I wasn't loving myself and I wasn't, you know, wasn't being positive, not being thankful for everything that I had. And now I feel like I truly can. And, and the support has, has helped me to realize that because my friends have been so supportive with me getting over my like sort of alcoholism and, and really supportive in me, like helping me achieve this positivity. Yeah. Don't be ashamed to be happy after the passing of your loved one. And don't be afraid to be happy either. And that's what they would want. That is what they would 100% want is for you to be happy and, and to, to make the best out of your own life. I think we all go through our ups and downs when we have been bereaved, but most of the, I mean, I think about it every day and I think everyone who is bereaved thinks about it every day for the rest of their lives, but I don't hurt as much as I used to and I've definitely forgiven myself. And I think that was the biggest thing was for me to forgive myself. And with my new outlook on life and my, my positivity, I feel like I have been able to completely be there for my mother and my sister and really look after them and make sure that they're getting, they, they're healing and and really looking after their their happiness as well yeah